Well, it looks like late summer is here. School supplies are starting to hit the stores and seasonal changes are on the way. In today's episode, I've got three beautiful farmhouse summer fall DIYs you are going to love with most supplies coming from Dollar Tree. This is my late summer, early fall episode. I call it Some All. So grab a cup of tea and lemonade and put on your lazy comfy PJs and enjoy. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you'd click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. So my first lazy DIY today is called Summer to Fall Basket. I found this basket at Dollar Tree and I've been using it when I go to the pool. So we're gonna switch it out. I'm taking out my towel, my favorite magazines, my sunscreen, and this is my favorite drink holder. It's so cool. I got it at, I think, Bed Bath & Beyond. It was $5 and it's a drink down below, but on the top, you can put your snacks. I had a lot of pretzels and things in there but it is the cutest little cup love it so now let's look at the basket that I did get at Dollar Tree and all I'm gonna do is just spray paint it and now it's become a beautiful fall color I use this satin rust-oleum spray paint and I sprayed it about I think it was about three light coats and it covers great and I think it just looks beautiful I even did the inside of it So the first thing we're gonna do to it is I got this uh, little blackboard from Dollar Tree. You've seen them. And it has a little stand, but it works perfectly on this little basket. Um, and I have these wooden letters that I got on at Amazon. And so I'll link that down below. They are the best letters ever. And I just love them. You, I'm not even going to paint the little blackboard. I am just going to hot glue Lazy Summer on there and I'm just putting the letters every which way because it's lazy and we don't care which way they go. So I love how that came out and it just clips right on there. And I think also I can change that out and put on another saying for fall, maybe something like happy fall y'all or something like that. So now I'm just gonna create a quick little bow and this is some um, burlap uh, ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I got this little technique down from my friend Dave, from Dave's recent things. He, has, he does a little loop in the middle, do you see that? And then that's where you can put in your little zip tie and push it together. I love that, because the little loop in the center will hide that zip tie. So thanks so much for this tape, da this little trick, Dave, from Dave's Recent Things. He's an excellent read tutorial, so check him out. I'll leave his link down below. So it came out great. You see the little loop in the middle? I love that. I, I've never done that before and I saw him do it. I'm like, that is genius. So the bow looks great. I'm loving these neutral colors. So we have to puff it and primp it. And I don't know if a bow can ever be perfect. You have to primp it all the time because it gets squished. So now I'm just gonna duct tail the ends to finish that off really pretty. And we're on to the next step. So now all we're gonna do is just add some flowers. I was also gonna tell you, if you have an old purse or maybe a straw purse or something, that would be really cool to fill up if you didn't find a container like this or maybe find one at the thrift store. Now, these sunflowers I picked up at Walmart. It was $2 for that one big bunch and I just separated them. This is some lavender that I've had forever and I can't really tell you where I got that. But any kind of flowers that you think are late summer, early fall type flowers would be just great or anything you have around the house. 
I think dark colors and fall colors would be perfect. So I just put down some fabric just so the stems didn't show through the holes and maybe a little burlap in there. And then I got some greenery because it's still summer a little bit. So there's a lot of greenery out there. And then these are some Dollar Tree uh, new fall floral picks that I just uh, got. So I think those blend in really well. And this project is done. How simple, how simple is this? I love the lazy summer sign and it is absolutely beautiful. It is actually sitting on my mantle right now. I love it. And this would be so easy to change out the sign and put a fall sign up there. So enjoy making a lazy summer basket today. Oh, I think this is one of my favorite projects today. It's called Farmer's Hay Truck. And I got this truck at Dollar Tree way back in the spring. And then this is one of those little kind of mini pallets that they have. And one of the pieces of uh, wood came off the top. And I was kind of glad because I'm like, if it's perfect on the truck. Now this truck, I know they're gonna have some out for the fall time, so don't worry. And maybe you have one already, so. All I'm doing is kind of uh, priming this to paint. Sometimes I don't take off the paper, but this one just kept coming off. I kept peeling it, peeling it, and I was like, okay, this is kind of fun, but enough. So I sanded it down and it's ready to paint. I even put some spackle up in the hole at the top. And then the one in the back is gonna be hidden, so I didn't need to do that. So I'm just using some white Waverly chalk paint and I did two coats. And if you notice, I put it up into the little, above the wheels, and then we're gonna fix those in just a little bit. I had two colors of beige that I had poured out, but I chose the Folk Art Acrylic Paint and Beachcomber Beige, and I was just putting those on the, what do you call those things, tire? above the tire things, I don't know. <laughs> and then I painted the tires black. And so all the painting is done. And so all I'm doing is just adding some little features and details on there. And then I grabbed some crafters, that cork paper, you know, and I just made two quick little circles to pop on the wheels. I love that paper. I wanna do some more projects with that cork stuff. So that will be fun coming up soon. So now the tires are done and what I'm gonna do is grab some raffia, raffia. And I'm just gonna pull all that out, make a huge mess and cut it all to bits there. And so what we're gonna do is just hot glue it in the back part of the truck and then we'll put the little pallet on the back on top of it. This was so much fun to create. And originally, this truck was gonna be a little sunflower truck. And I wanted to put some sunflowers in the back and call it Suzy Sunflowers. But I totally changed my, my whole thing and because I really couldn't find any mini sunflowers and I didn't wanna put any big sunflowers. So I'm so glad that I actually couldn't find them because I love how the hay looks in the back. And we're just gonna stuff a little bit more coming out the top and uh, putting it up on those little pieces there. So this really turned out great. It's one of those unexpected things that happened. taking some antique wax paint and sort of creating the details where I had sketched it out with pencil. It doesn't look great right now, it's a little too much, but I go back in and blend it and then I use um, some sandpaper to sand it all out and kind of wipe it all out and do all of that and it comes out really great. And so I just added all those touches and then also make sure to add some of the dark pieces on the tires and around the whole edge of the truck, like right there on the bottom. I think it just really gives it that nice aged and uh, distressed look. 
and especially there on the little uh, wooden pallet, the back of the truck. So it's coming together. Sometimes you're like, oh, does that look okay? And it really turned out great. So now I'm just using my um, little Sharpie to add a door handle. And I actually add a little bit more here in just a little bit, you'll see. So these are some of those stickers that they're kind of puppy stickers and I got them and I never knew what I was gonna use them for and I'm like, well, let's try it on the truck. And I loved it. I actually think it looks pretty good. I also had a little um, cow sticker and I put it on the door and you might like it. I just, I don't know, I just didn't like it. And you'll see here what I do in a little bit. These are, yeah, you see that little, um, I just love that on the door a little bit better. It's kind of metal and I just love it. And the corners, if you notice up on the, the, the wooden pallet, those turned out great to add there. And I just used some of the rub-on stickers from Dollar Tree. Hey y'all, I love how this turned out. What do you think? I just think it is gorgeous and I love that it is neutral. Enjoy making a hay y'all truck today. And my last late summer, early fall project today is called Puffy Sunflowers. And you're just going to need two different types of coordinating fabric. And I've got this ticking fabric from, I well, it's from my mom. She's had it for years. And I think I've seen it at Joann's and also Walmart, but they used it for pillows, creating pillows. And so it's called Farmhouse Ticking Fabric. And then I got that yellow polka dot uh, fabric from Walmart. It's Waverly brand, just like the paint we all use. And so I'm just using those Dollar Tree um, discs, little styrofoam discs to, for my pattern. But whatever circular pattern that you have will be great. So I'm making three flowers. So I'm going, I've already cut six little circles. And then for the um, little petals coming off of the sunflower, I'm gonna use this beautiful yellow. And all I'm gonna do is just randomly cut little triangles and they're kind of folded. So that's perfectly, and I'll show you that in a minute. And I'm also using my peaking shears. I think that gives it such a pretty touch. And we're just gonna finish cutting all of that out. And what I'm showing you here is if you just glue on one single piece of fabric, it's gonna be floppy. And so what I did is I hot glued two pieces together. I just did three little lines, one, two, three, well, four. <laughs> I think I just used three, ended up. And that makes it stiff enough to sort of hold up and it came out great. And depending on the size of your circle, you'll know how many of the petals to make. So then I'm just throwing that all together, hot gluing it and putting that on the outside and um, kind of overlapping them a little bit. And then we're just going to see, I did that one, two, three, and then just throw that on. And then I'm going to grab another little circle to go on top. We're going to hot glue that on, but just leave a little bit of opening so we can create and make the puppy part of the puppy sunflower. And so now here comes the stuffing. This is just from an old pillow that I got at Dollar General. They have them super cheap for $2 and you really get a lot of stuffing in there. So we just put that right in hot glued it down and used my wonderful clips from Dollar Tree to hold it in place. Ooh, I love it. It came out so cute. And see how the petals are super stiff? So they stand up nicely. Oh, I love it. And I'm just staining three dowels from Dollar Tree with the antique wax using a wet one or a Kleenex wet wipes. It works great. It also cleans your fingers. And so I just stuck them into the sunflower and added a raffia bow. And then I've got these three um, little jars or vases from Dollar Tree. I thought that would be great to hold them and stand them up. And those are some Dollar Tree rocks. 
and don't fill it all the way up <laughs> before you put the stick in. But this is how they turned out. Are they not adorable? This will move perfectly into the fall if you add it to a nice, beautiful, orangey um, bouquet and maybe some pumpkins around. I absolutely love how these turned out. Just gorgeous. So that's it for today for my late summer, early fall projects. I think that each one of these will move perfectly into your fall decor and you can have them out right now and all of them will be perfect when you add some pumpkins with it and maybe some fall leaves. I just think it will work perfect for September and October. And I just love them all and I hope you do too. So happy late summer, early fall and thanks for joining me on my some all episode. And thanks to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. Don't forget to comment down below. It really helps my channel out and a great big thumbs up. And I'll see you on Tuesday for a 60 second DIY and on Saturdays for a full episode. See you next time. Bye everybody.